Hello everyone, this is Alex Bavalsik from HowToDoTech.com and today we're going to be looking at Google's new Hangouts app available for both Android and iOS. So I'm going to open the app and the first thing we can see are my Hangouts. Now on the Android side all I can see are my latest Hangout which was with William Reynolds Young and then my six Hangout requests and the people that are requesting the Hangout. Now I have blurred out those names just for privacy reasons but I can assure you they're there. On the right over here we have my latest hangout which is William Reynolds Young. Both of those also display the beginning of the text in that hangout and then I also it tells me six people under that want to join a new hangout with me and then my archived hangouts because I did archive a hangout before and they do show up on iOS whereas they don't show up over here on Android. Now to start a new hangout which is very very simple all you have to do on Android is either hit the plus or scroll from the edge of the screen to the left. Now from here I've bl blurred out quite a lot of the screen and those are all my contacts. At the top there are six squares of contacts which I think are um, picked purely at random at the per current time because most of these contacts I've not contacted on Google Plus at all. But this does show both people and circles so I can choose from there. On iOS the only way to start the new hangout is hitting the plus at the top right. So once I do that, once again, tons of blurred over there. There must be some type of order because both sides have the exact same context in those six boxes. But once again, so I'm going to start a new hangout on iOS and I'm going to be typing in the circle me because I do have myself in a circle. Oopsie. So once I choose myself, which is the circle of myself, I have the choice at the bottom to hit either... Um, actual text with the little paper sign or I can hit a video hangout with the video camera. So I'm going to hit text and now from here I can hit send new message and I can say hi to myself and send hi. Also up at the top I have the personal um, contact information right up there of the hangout circle which is um, I can add more people to the circle, I can view the people in it, I can rename this hangout then I have the choice of notifications or the hangout history and I can do a new hangout with this group. I can also archive or leave the hangout all from there. So those are some really nice settings at the top right. Now this failed to send. Chances are my network is having problems but this is a great time to show you that if you tap it you have the choice to delete a failed message or try again. So I'm going to delete it because it failed so let's try it on my Android. Maybe it has better network connection. So if I tap in the circle me once I do that, I can once again hit the circle of myself, and then this time it shows up in green, message or video calls, which I'm going to hit message, and let's try hi, saying hi once again. And message did not send. It doesn't show me a little red thing, but no, it did not send again. Once again, my house Wi-Fi is quite terrible, even though it shows the bars, chances are the connection is lost. But that is how the message you normally send. Once again, if I tap it, I have the choice to delete or resend this in particular message. Also, I'd love to point out in these Hangouts, right at the top if I lower the keyboard, I do have the choice to go right into a video Hangout. Oh, come on, phone. Stay balanced on here. Don't, don't go falling on me. Okay, so I have the choice at the top to do a video call, or once again, I have the settings which is everything that showed up on iOS but it shows up with these little sub menus which is a little bit easier to navigate but once again if I go back to the left which is all my hangouts it shows me this did not send so I'm just gonna scroll that to the side to archive the message and then I have the chance to undo at the bottom of Android I didn't see that undo button on iOS once again let's try to straighten out these phones they don't want to stay for me right now come on you're not helping me out phones okay so now also if I go we can see I have a notification which told me my message did not send so we'll just leave that back up there let's take a look at the basic settings which aren't so basic but the general settings for these two apps by hitting the settings at the top right on Android and I'm just gonna go to general settings or to the settings at the top left of iOS so let's do iOS first starting from the top down I can change my profile picture I can snooze notifications which is going to basically turn them off for a certain amount of time I can customize new requests and by clicking that it shows all of my different circles and I can choose whether they can automatically hang out with me just by engaging in a hangout or they have to request to hang out with me before anything really um happens whether it be from video 
or from text messages. You can also take a look at your past Hangout requests, past Archive Hangouts, blocked people. I can add another Google Plus account, so maybe I want to add how to do tech. I can add another Google Plus account. Um, then I can also send feedback, which I definitely plan on doing to help Google make this the best app it can be. And then we have all that privacy and information down there. Now, on the Android side, starting at the top, I can change my profile picture. I have the options for notifications. Any of this notification, whether it be Hangout notifications or video call notifications, have to be changed in the Settings app of iOS. So they show up on Android, not on iOS. But I can choose um, my notifications, the sound, if they vibrate, and Hangout requests. Um, with video calls, I have the choice of sound and vibrating. I can customize the new request, just like iOS. I can um, take a look at my Google Plus profile. It also shows me a confirmed phone number, which I am not going to um, share. I'm going to blur that out, just because I don't really need all this spam texting that people love to send these days. I can also look at blocked people, and I can sign out or look at that about Hangouts, which is the privacy terms and licensing just like iOS. So overall, these are basically the same app. So now let's just take a look at something that looks totally different, and that is the new Hangouts on Google Plus so in So now that Chrome. we're on the desktop in Chrome, we can see that Google Plus has been totally changed, basically completely, and we're not really focused on this for this video. We are focused, however, on the two green and white quotations at the top right. So when I click that, the Hangouts comes out on the right, we have tons of contacts over there, which I have blurred out for their privacy, but nevertheless, there are tons of contacts, and at the top, the three that I haven't are this deleted Hangout or archived on my mobile. It was not archived on my actual desktop computer. My most recent Hangout, which is with William Reynolds Young, and then six requests. Those are the same six requests from iOS. So if I click on a Hangout, like I can click on William Reynolds Young, we do have the latest um, message I have, which is basically me telling him that I am recording this video. And then I can add people to the Hangout with a plus. I can change the settings. And then here's something cool. This is basically another window. So I can move it up to a completely new window. Or I can hit this arrow again to put it back as part of Chrome. So you do have the choice that way if you want to say, keep this window, the chat window, open and then minimize the rest of Chrome, you could do so. I can also X this out or minimize this right at the bottom right there. Same window controls. I also have settings, as I said before on the right, and then I have the chance to change this directly to a video call. Now, for the video call, I haven't touched base on it because on the desktop, it is exactly the same as Hangouts used to be. Nothing has really changed for it. However, on mobile, some great new features were added, such as changing where the audio comes out, whether that's a Bluetooth speaker, headphones, or speakers. I can also change um, the video and audio if that's shown through the Hangout. That was the same as before. But another great thing, which I think people will be interested in, is you can now view chat while you're in the Hangout for um, iOS and Android. You can click the chat. It's a little button at the top and you can view the chat while actually talking to people so that's pretty darn cool so that is basically the entirety of hangouts I know this has been kind of just a general run through so if you have any questions about in particular features of hangouts feel free to leave them down in a comment below or you could certainly email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. We read emails basically weekly, so you'll get an answer at a fairly quick time, um, within one week, obviously. And then we also have Facebook pages and Google Plus pages. If you give us a message through there, chances are we'll get to you a little bit quicker, so you might want to check out those pages. Maybe give us a plus one or a like. Um, we also have the wonderful subscribe button right under here. If you subscribe, you can be notified when we come out with new videos such as this one. And now you can click on one of the categories to be brought to a playlist of more of our super fun videos. So I am Alex Bavalsic, and I will see you next time.